What's up everybody? It has been a weird day so far. Um, my alarm did not go off. It was set for like 6.50. Um, I woke up about 8 o'clock and the alarm was still set so I don't know what's going on there. Um, but I, so I'm out, I'm out late. I did just go by a few garage sales. I went by this one right here and <clears throat> the guy that's actually running it apparently is not awake yet. Um, but his friend set up some stuff and they had a original DS with a charger and he said that he has more game stuff but he doesn't know if it's if his friend wants to sell it or not so he said when his friend actually wakes up in like a half hour or an hour um he'll ask him so to come back around and if he had anything else he'll put it aside for me um i got the ds for 10 bucks it turned on um and it's in fairly decent shape uh so hopefully it'll play a game they didn't have any games but so now uh, it also rained a lot last night so I'm not really sure how many sales will actually be going on today um, because of that. So let's see. Well, apparently I'm not out too late because right back, where is it? Oh, you can kind of barely see it. Like right over there, there's a garage sale set up. Um, I just picked up two 360 controllers, a black one in really nice shape and a blue one in not quite as nice shape, a little dirty. Um, but for 15 bucks, she wanted $10 a piece for them, but uh, she gave me a deal since this one was a little rougher and it didn't have the, the correct battery backing to it. But uh, So she was really nice though. Um, there's really not a lot of sales out. I've been out for about 45 minutes now. Um, I went by a couple uh, that I've been to before, like about a year ago, this one lady was having a sale and she goes, are you the guy that was asking about a hard drive in something like a year ago? And I was like, a 360? And she's like, yeah. It was a woman who got pissed at me because she had wrapped a 360 in all these cables and rubber bands. And I was trying to see if it was a, one of those slim models. I was trying to see if it had um, a hard drive inside. And she wouldn't let me take the cables off of it or, or unwrap it. So she basically kind of like told me, well, never mind then, like, you know, like it was not for sale. And she just asked me if I'd still be interested in buying it. And she tried calling her son, who now has it. I guess she gave it to her son and uh, he wouldn't answer the phone. She goes, well, maybe you can stop by a little later. So, and it was weird because she's like, we, we looked inside later on and there was no hard drive in it. But he says there was, meaning her husband said there was. And I was like, oh, really? I'm like, are you trying to say that somehow I magically stole the hard drive out of it, you know, like while you were watching me or something? So, I don't know. That was kind of weird. But maybe I'll get a Slim 360, probably a, a 4 gig, obviously, um, later on today. I just had good luck and bad luck happen at the same time. Uh, this garage sale right here, I asked if they had any games. They said that they had a uh, PS3 and some games that they already had sold. Um, so that really bummed me out, but then she said, well, we're keeping our Wii, but I might, you know, get rid of a few games. So for five bucks each, I got Need for Speed Carbon, uh, I'll save that one for last because it's the best, Super Mario Galaxy, and Animal Crossing City Folk, five dollars each, all complete and in very nice shape. So that was cool. I mean, I did miss out on, uh, I didn't even ask how much the PS3 was, but uh, if they were selling the games for five bucks, and I'm kind of bummed because I could probably got, could have gotten a, a system for pretty cheap, but oh well. I'm still still happy. I still came out with something. I just went to two very interesting sales in a row. First, this little one. These people set up like every other weekend for the last year at least. I'm gonna pull over real quick because I'm not driving while I'm talking. I'm not doing that anymore. Um, they never have had really any game stuff besides like a random plug-and-play controller thing you know you plug into the TV and all the games are on the controller and just some random junk but they had a box as you can see right there it has um, a Wii with all the hookup cables uh, and a GameCube just system and power cable in there <clears throat> they uh, they didn't know how much their son wanted for it their son's not here um, so they called him on the phone he had said 30 for the whole box and that wouldn't have been that bad. Unfortunately, the Wii has uh, definitely seen better days. It's missing a panel. It looks like it has been opened at one point, um, but it had like the controllers and stuff, so I was still interested. But there was a receipt in there from Cash America Pawn for like $17.99 uh, for, it just said Nintendo. And since there's a GameCube in there, I'm assuming that $17.99 probably for the GameCube. Um, but she's like 30. I was like, well, you have a receipt in the box that says, $18 that you guys purchased it. And she's like, what? She grabbed her glasses and looked at it. She's like, oh. She's like, 
20. <laughs> so uh, I was able to get the box of stuff for 20 bucks. And then just before that, I went to a sale where I got an odd mixture of things for 10 bucks. I'll show you most of it when I get home, but it did include a copy of Pokemon Red and uh, some other Game Boy games, Wario Land 2, Super Mario Land 2, and uh, a system and a controller, which like I said, I'll show you when I get home, but that was, that was 10 bucks, so a couple really good sales right in a row. The battery on my iPod ended up dying, uh, but I went to like five or six more sales, and then I went over to my parents, and then went to one other sale after that, came home, took a nap, did shit with Katie, and now it's one o'clock in the morning, so uh, I'm gonna try to do this quick, and uh, go to bed so I can be up nice and early for the flea market tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> but I did get a few more things uh, after the last clip I filmed while I was still out. Uh, they, oh, first I want to say that important information. Um, I'm going to be moving video game sellers uh, to Wednesdays. I've been doing Tuesday uploads, uh, you know, since the beginning. But over the last two weeks, uh, two episodes in a row had to be uploaded on a Wednesday, um, both due to some stupid error. Uh, two weeks ago it was when I uploaded the video, it, it glitched on YouTube and it froze, so I actually had to take it down, screw around with it, uh, and then re-upload it. Then this last week, um, <clears throat> I went to, oh, my internet, that's what it was. Um, I went to go upload the video and it said it was going to take like 2,000 minutes or some shit, and I had to have my internet company come out and screw around with the internet at my house, so... Um, I think moving it to Wednesdays will also make it a little bit easier on me because now apparently all the episodes are over 20 minutes long. Um, I don't really see what I'm doing differently at the flea market to, you know, to make them longer. Uh, I guess I'm just filming more than I used to, but um, it'll make it a little easier because I, I do, you know, I go to the flea market on Sunday and that pretty much gives me Monday to edit, and then I, I was trying to have them up on Tuesday, like earlier in the day or Tuesday morning. And it just was a killer, so uh, I think now that they're over 20 minutes, giving me a whole extra day will definitely help out, and maybe I can you know, even tweak them a little bit more and make them even better. So that's a, a, a fair warning. Episodes will be up. Will be up? That sounded funny. Episodes will be up now um, on Wednesdays from now on. Um, so let's go over stuff I got. Uh, I have it all mixed up and around here, and I don't really remember everything I showed you guys. Um... The couple of oh, the Game Boy games I had sort of teased in the car. I got everything I'll show you right now for ten bucks. Um, I got Doctor Mario, uh, Super Mario Land, uh, another copy of Super Mario Land, but this one is the uh, player's choice. <clears throat> we got the Ren and Stimpy Show, Vidiots, uh, Wario Land Two, Pokemon Red, which does save. That was awesome. Tetris, and the Ishido, the Way of the Stones, <clears throat> and then also disc-only copies of Dragon Ball Raging Blast on PS3 and Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2, and which one was it, I think, oh, it was this one, a uh, <laughs> another Xbox 360 controller, um, this one has some battery corrosion going on inside the little uh, battery case, but overall it's actually in nice shape and none of the buttons seem to be bad on it. <clears throat> and then a broken PSP, but it did have the charger so I can still you know trade it in. Um, it has a completely dead screen to it. Like I can turn it on, I can hear it, I can move the buttons and it clicks and everything, but uh, nothing is going on on the screen. Um, and I believe that was it. all I got. Oh, no, and a, a Wii... Oh, here it is. Um, a Wii audio video cable. They didn't even have a Wii. I was, uh, these people... I won't go into too much uh, detail, but basically they were a hippie family. Very nice. Um, the mom was not wearing uh, a bra, so uh, kudos to her. And um, <laughs> they said they had a 360, but they had already opened it up, taken it apart, and tried to put a new disk drive in it that they bought off of Amazon, and they couldn't get it to work. They had a PS3 that they had tried to open and couldn't get it all the way open, then tried to clam it, you know, cram it back shut. And I was like, God, and, and they had one 360 controller, no PS3 controller. They brought out this random box of, like, a broken original Game Boy that was just in pieces, all these Game Boy games... And we ended up basically just, you know, kind of saying, and, and no, no cases for a lot of the games that they had. Um, so 
it ended up being like roughly a dollar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Less than a buck. Oh yeah, and the PSP, twelve things. Less than a buck a piece items. I paid ten bucks for all of that. Um, so that was awesome. And then another sale I went to. Um, they were about to close up, and they had a box of DVDs and a few games that didn't have cases, and some of them were just junk games, and uh, I happened to see, though, Spyro Ripto's Rage, um, and that's complete, and the disc wasn't too bad on that one, um, so I definitely snagged that at first, and I was like, uh, well, that's a good one, because the woman had said that some guy had already come and bought most of the games, and I was like, well, why would they left? Why would they have left that? That's sort of odd. And then, of course, there was other, like, sports titles in there. But then, I don't own a copy of this. Uh, Gex. Gex the Gecko on the PlayStation. And it's in really nice shape, complete with the manual. Um, and like I said, I, I don't own a copy of Gex, and I actually enjoyed playing this game. So this one is going to be one I'm going to keep. And then a just disc only for uh, Spyro Year of the Dragon. Um, they had a case for like Crash Bandicoot Warped, but no game. Um, I also bought at that sale a, I'm guessing, new uh, Xbox 360 wired headset because it was still like uh, a little tied up there with a twisty tie and it doesn't look like it's ever been used. It's not dirty at all. Um, so I got that stuff, oh yeah, and Turok on Xbox 360, um, I don't own this either, I know it is not that fantastic of a game, and it's only like, I think it's under $5 at GameStop for a used copy, like $3.99 or something, but um, I got all of these 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 things uh, for 8 bucks. they did three games for 5 and then she said she was selling them for like 2 a piece, so I got Turok for 2 bucks. And then a dollar for the headset. So eight dollars for that. Um, already, you already saw these Wii games. Animal Crossing, Super Mario Galaxy, and Need for Speed Carbon. Um, I kind of did a peekaboo into the box for the uh, Wii. Which, there's the junk for the Wii. Um, I put one controller and one nunchuck in there. Um, here's the other controller and nunchuck. Um, <clears throat> the Wii does not work, and I, I, I was going to be surprised if it did. Um, <clears throat> it turns on, and there was a disc inside. There was a cracked Need for Speed... Uh, shit, I forgot which Need for Speed it was. But it was cracked, and the top was all scratched up, and the disc was put in upside down in the system. Um, but I put another game in, and it would not read the disc. It just said, it came up with like a warning screen... Um, so, I wasn't expecting it to play. I mainly bought it because it had all the components, the extra controllers. I can still trade it in as a defective system. Um, <clears throat> but now I have an extra Wii Remote and Nunchuck. And the GameCube, though, did work, um, which was nice. It had some uh, little pieces of shit in here. There was a penny, there was a little Lego gun, or uh, maybe not Lego, I don't know if Legos kind of have guns, but... There was some little plastic gun inside here, and then there was a piece from, like, um, the Game of Life. One of the little, like, you know, character human pieces, looked like just a little peg, stuck in the system. I got them all out, um, and like I said, it played, uh, and it did have the power cable, and I didn't think it had the audio-video cable, but there was actually one in the box as well. I just didn't notice it at first, so it was just missing its controller. Um, that box, like I said, was 20 bucks, um, so I, that's a pretty decent deal. Um, oh, we already saw this DS, I did grab, I went to one sale after I went to my parents' house, this was going on 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I pull up, they didn't have any game, well they had two Guitar Hero guitars for the PS2 out, um, I asked, like I saw a bunch of kids at the garage sale, so I was like, any games, any handheld stuff, and a kid ran across the street um, to his house, grabbed his DS Lite with a pink stylus, so, so cute. Um, and the charger, the charger's out in the living room. Um, but this uh, turned on. He didn't have any games, um, but he did have a charger, like I said. So I offered him 10 bucks, and he seemed really happy, and his mom seemed totally fine with it. So uh, $10 for a DS Lite. Um, and yes, this one does play. I tested it when I got home. It was pretty dirty. Um, I tried cleaning it up as best I could, but there's a lot of gunk inside there. Um, I'll probably give it another good wipe down. Um, what else? I think that is 
it in the sense of garage sales. I did go to um, my friend Frank's house. Uh, we did some trading. I traded him those Resident Evil figurines that I had, um, a couple, oh, the Diablo on the PlayStation, and like one other game, Vandal Hearts, I believe. Um, and I got, oh, and he also bought some stuff from me. Um, but I got uh, Pokemon uh, Game Boy Color, really nice screen. The audio on it, though, unfortunately, uh, is not a, you can't go to max volume. At max volume, it's only about half force, which seems to be a common thing with these. But overall, it's still in good shape. And this, I'm not going to pull everything out, but it's a N64 in the bag um, with a third-party expansion pack, one controller. There's a PSP charger in here. Uh, two other audio video cables for GameCube, N64, or whatever, um, and one RF adapter for GameCube, 64, Super Nintendo. Um, I think that was all that's in that bag. And then the only other thing I got was, um, this was a purchase, not a garage sale deal or anything like that, um, but another Mega Man game for my Mega Man Quest. That is Mega Man 3 on the Game Boy. So now I'm only missing uh, the first Mega Man on Game Boy, um, which actually I should be getting pretty damn soon. I got that, that game's really cheap, but I, I bought it for, I think, eight bucks. Um, so that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Decent day, especially for waking up late and it, for it being sort of rainy, kind of cruddy weather um, late last night, early this morning. Um, so I'm happy. <laughs> uh, leave a comment down below of what you found this weekend. Let me know. I always enjoy hearing when you guys find shit that blows mine out of the water. Um, and thumbs up the video. As always, uh, I appreciate you. Thank you all. Peace.